Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Pravin Kumar Bumisetyam. In this video, we'll cover what is SKM, purpose of SKM, database terminology, and what is the scope of SKM. Let us discuss one by one. What is SKM? SQL is nothing but structured query language. So to communicate between database, we'll make use of SKM. So it is nothing but communication between database to perform certain activities or actions. So to access and manipulate database, we'll make use of SKM. So this is a database, this is user. So this is user and this is a database. If you want to communicate with database, we'll make us of SK. So simply SK acts as a bridge between user and the database. Now we'll see what is purpose of SK. So purpose is nothing but we can able to create databases. We can able to create new tables, alter and drop existing tables, capture and modifying data, so by using a scale, we can able to insert new records, update and delete existing records. So once data is stored, we can able to see the data by using querying the, querying the data from the database. How data will be stored in the database? Data will be stored in the form of tables. So these are nothing but tables. So in the database, data will be stored in the form of tables. Tables consist of columns and rows column one, two columns and four rows are there in this table. So this is the columns and these are the rows. Two columns and four rows are available in this table. Now we'll see some examples of tables. So this employee this is the employee details table and this is the department details table. So employee ID, employee name, salary department ID is the columns available in employee details table. So these are the records four columns and four rows. Here department ID, department name are the columns. So two columns and three records are available, okay. Before database, data will be stored in the form of papers, books, Excel. So we can, anybody can able to access. So if, 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 if the data is stored in papers, we can able to access them. So no security or duplicate data, no backup. So these are the drawbacks are available before database. Software database, no, we are having so easily stored data. So we can able to store data easily. Only specified users can able to access. So then there will be security to the data. We can easily pull data. So if you if you know, like if you if you want to get the ID 1001, we can simply select start from table name where ID equal to 1001. So we can able, we can easily pull the data from the database. And we have data backup, so monthly, daily, hourly, or like we can have, uh, based on the company requirement, you can able to back up the data, like monthly or quarterly or yearly. So then there will be no duplicate data. So that's why we are introducing database. Okay, so these are, so these are the advantages of using database. So we can able to easily store data. So security will be there. We can able to pull the data and data backup will be there. So databases, so there are different vendors of databases. So like what a database can be man manufactured by using Oracle, SQL Server, MySQL, MS Access, Sybase. So these are different database vendors available in the market. Like leading one is the Oracle database. So SQL commands. So this is the database, DCL data control language, DDL data definition language, DML data manipulation language, DCL transaction control language, DQL or DRL. This is nothing but data query language or data retrieval language. So these are the basic commands, okay? These are the basic building blocks of SQL. So with these commands only we can able to do anything, okay? So must and should, we should know these commands. So these are nothing but basic building blocks of SQL. So assume like SQL is like a golden duck. So if you know SQL, no, we can able to develop our career like Oracle PLSQL developer, ETL developer, Tableau or Power BI developer, Big Data developer, machine learning, AI, artificial intelligence, data science, and Snowflake developer. So if you know SQL, we can able to like shine in any other field, like we can able to get into IT field and we can able to work on this, any of the technologies. Now I'll give overview of PLSQL developer. So Oracle PLSQL developer is mainly used to design database applications. So we can able to design database applications using SQL and PLSQL concepts. So database applications like using PLSQL, like banking applications, like banking up HDFC, Excel Bank. So these are the banking application where PLSQL can be used. E-commerce applications like Flipkart, Mantra, food delivery applications, Zomato, Swiggy. 
Kubin application, bus booking application. So these are the nothing but database applications where data will be stored. So we can, by using PLSQL, we can able to write procedures, functions, triggers, packages based on the requirement. So we can, by using PLSQL, we can able to handle these things and we can able to go to the front end guys like Java, C Sharp. So PLSQL real-time training. It's a four weeks training course. In this course, we'll see SQL real-time scenarios, PLSQL real-time scenarios, and daily tasks. So daily task will be given after completion of the class. So coding standards, like how to write the code. Okay. So interview preparation also I will guide how to how to crack the interviews and how to do unit testing of the code. Once you develop the code, we need to do unit testing, proper unit testing. So then code movement. So how to move the code from one environment to other environments, what are the development environment, E2E environment, production environment. So all this can be covered in this course. So if you want to have like interest on this course, you can able to reach out to me. So next batch is going to start on June 25th. If you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.